Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. It's Jo from Plan to Create. Uh, today I will be doing a video showing my 2021 setup in my bullet journal in a Stalogy. And also I've had a few requests on what's in my pen case, so I'll also go through that. So first of all, uh, I have my Stalogy housed in a Gilio um, Slim Campagna in the black Apoca leather. Now I have obviously de-ringed it, so I've taken the rings out. Um, I love the black leather and how it looks when it's patinaed and I really want this to uh, get some use. Last year I had a Hobonichi Weeks that I had cut up and punched and put in the rings. So, um, but I wanted to make sure that I could use this cover. Okay, so first we've just got um, an ollie clip on the front. Then on the inside, I have some a couple of die cuts. We've got Coffee Monsters Co. and Tickled Pink. This is a business card. Um, from Hello Petite Paper. It's just pretty. So I'll pop that in there. Then I have a if found card that I made and tender designs sticky notes. I've just covered up the center uh, plates with some washi tape from uh, Simply Gilded. Okay, so this was a B6 Stalogy that I had cut down to personal size. I'm currently using a Stalogy that I had cut down to standard size, which I quite liked. I really like the size, but the pages, I'm not using them all. Like some days I'll get close to using a full page, but then most of the days I've got space left over. So I thought, so I could utilize this cover, I would try um, and use a personal size. We've got some stickers on the front. This 2021 is from my shop. This one, this one, and this one are all from Marshmallow Studios. And this is a printable from the Style Planner. Uh, on the inside, I just, this Hello the Planner belongs to is from the Style Planner. Uh, this is from Made by Alyssa um, years ago. And this was just a sticker I made myself. And then a photo of my son. The next page I just did a collage um, with some journaling supplies just to give it a bit of interest. This is a vellum printable from the Style Planner. It's my absolute favourite pattern. Just love it. Then I have a 2020 cover page uh, with a sticker from Marshmallow Studios along with some washi tape. Now I've grabbed an old bullet journal just to show you I used to do um, draw up everything you know I've got mood tra um, trackers and monthly trackers and I used to draw up the months and all that sort of stuff so I've had a go um, at doing all that but it does take up a lot of time so for this bullet journal um, I will be using as many resources as I can just to make things quick. Now I wrote this down so I don't forget. A lot of these printables that I'm about to show you are from 101planners.com, which I will link down below. So first of all, we have, let's see, uh, just a 2021 overview that I've pasted in. Then I have my key for um, my bullet journal and my signifiers. Um, I do have kits with these stickers in my shop. Um, I will probably just draw them, but I just wanted to use the stickers to make that look pretty. Then I've left a couple of pages for the index, which will just mainly be for any collections or important information. Uh, this printable, again, same shop, 101 Planners. It's just a yearly overview that I've just got. It's for only birthdays and anniversaries, and that's it. Then I've got um, 
a couple of truckers. I don't tend to track a lot of things because I do fall off it. Um, my meds I will track and I'm going to try to do a mood tracker and I have just drawn up a little key that's colour coordinated so for each day I'll just use whichever colour. Uh, then I have a goals page. Again this is something that I don't normally do um, but I wanted to give it a try next year so I've only got from January to June because I don't know how much I'll get in this book. So I've just left some space uh, for each month. And then I've decided instead of having one month, then your weeks and your daily pages, then the month, I'm going to put six months all at the front so I can forward plan. So these are printables from May Paperco. They're a personal size, which I've just cut up and um, pasted in. So we've got January, February, March, April, May, and June. And again, I've just used my, abs this is my absolute most favorite washi ever. Where are we? There we are. From Simply Gilded. And this little picture here, my grandmother was a, um, a sewer in her days. She was a really good sewer actually she could make clothes and she could crochet she could do all sorts of things but she gave me a pin tin and it had a pattern very similar to this on the top and it really reminds me of it and brings back good memories I don't know where the tin ended up which I'm shattered about and I am gonna run out of this washi which I'm also shattered about okay so next we have just a January memories play a page and a January uh, calendar. This one is from Marshmallow Studios. Love the pastel colours. I'm a big pastel freak. Um, and then I haven't decided whether I will start from the 1st of January or that first week in January that includes some of the days in December. So I'll have to wait and see how I go. But that's how I've set it up so far uh, so that will be I will also have weekly and daily um, spreads in that and with my standard size normally each size that I use so I've got a reference book for my standard size I have a reference book for A5 um, I have a reference book for the week size and I will start a, a reference book for this personal size, which I will just keep in there. Um, and I just have all different sorts of bits and pieces in here, coupon codes and doctor's information and um, anything that needs to be referenced. So I will transfer what's in here across to there. And if I change back, I can just add any other bits and pieces into this one. It is a little bit of doubling up, but I like to have one in each size so I can, because I can't carry this in my personal because it's too big. So I'll have one set up for this size. So that's my bullet journal set up for 2021. Okay, now this is my pen case, which I got from Hobonichi. Um, it is a sort of a, a baby pink maybe you could describe it as with gold hardware and gold zipper and then it's a I think it's described as mint but it's a bit brighter than that uh, green on the inside on the front you have um, a very deep pocket goes full length we'll just zoom out a little bit Okay, so in the front, I just have a metal ruler. I cannot for the life of me remember where I got this from. I absolutely love it. Um, and it stays in here all the time. But I apologise, I have no idea where it's from. Um, I have the current pen that I'm using, which is a Uni Jet Stream in 07. This is a multi-pen. Um, I took the inks that were in there out. So we have an 07 and then I have a spare 07 
and then there's a pencil, mechanical pencil. So um, it did have a black and a red in 05, um, but I use 07, so I whacked two in there. And then I have the Hobonichi pen for 2020, which is a, um, a Uni Jet Stream ballpoint as well, but they're in 05. So you've got blue, red, and black on that. I have uh, my Twisby in, I got fine nib, but I really think I need a medium nib. And that is inked with uh, platinum carbon black ink. Because once that's dried, you can actually highlight over it, uh, which is awesome. Uh, and then another pen that I regularly use is the Uniball Signo 05, um, just a click pen. Um, I don't often use 05, but when I do, that's um, one of the pens that I enjoy um, using. Okay, so on the inside, we have my color coding uh, mild liners here. And I will just bring this up to show you. They're all labeled with the categories that they correspond to. So if I happen to forget what color I need, it's on there. I do have, as I showed earlier, I did put a key in here. Um, because I made these labels for this key and then thought, why don't I just put them on here? So it sort of makes that obsolete. Um, but anyway, it doesn't matter. It still looks nice. Um, yeah, so they're all labeled for their corresponding categories. Then I have a pair of um, tweezers that I got from Luscious Labels. Um, to place any stickers because uh, as you know I am the queen of crooked so sometimes I need some assistance I have a spare set of labels in case they fall off or I want to mark label something else and then in the mesh zipper I have an eraser because the multi pen with the pencil doesn't have an eraser in it so I keep one in there I've got one of my washi tapes from my shop just so I've got something handy if I'm planning on the go and also a little mini Tinsy whiteout. Um, so I keep all of those in here. It does actually have um, elastics that you could put things into, uh, your pens and so forth, but I don't use it. I also have a... Um, a Muji grey ink um, pen just in case I want to rule some lines and I don't want to use black I don't want it so bold so I have that in there and that I'm pretty sure is all that I have in there this is just my absolute essentials I want to try to keep it to a minimum so that I'm not carrying too much stuff and fits in hand, no worries. And you know, for portability, I can take this anywhere. Obviously, <coughs> excuse me. Um, obviously, you know, I can change the pens if I'm not using one or the other um, and so forth. But this is what um, I like to have ready on hand to grab and go to make sure I've got my supplies with me. Okay, well, thank you very much for stopping by and having a sneak peek at my 2021 bullet journal and my pen pouch. I love it if you could give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you hopefully Sunday with another video. Bye.